Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm going to be doing a Funko Pop review on the Funko Pop 8-Bit Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger. Now this is an amazing looking pop, I really like these 8-Bit Pops. I started collecting the Stranger Things one and I've been bitten by the 8-Bit Bug and now I can't stop buying them. So this is Freddy and he's number 22 in the set. I do love the way they always put the set number in 8-Bit as well. Nice picture of 8-Bit Freddy on the front there. If we turn it to the side, we can see Freddy on the uh, side of the packaging, number 22, with his um, iconic claw there. And on the back, we get a nice sort of horror shot of Freddy Cougar himself, always scarred up face. And I like the way they've transformed that onto the pop. So, um, yeah, and on this side, Freddy Cougar. On the top, you can see his little hat. And on the bottom, really not much going on. So uh, let's waste no time and get Freddy out of his box and see what we think. So here's Freddy Krueger out of the box, and as I can as I can see straight off the bat, I'm gonna love this pop. The hat is absolutely amazing. I love the 8-bit detail around the rim as well. That like the rim has got a sort of um, rough edge around the side um, to symbolise the hat, and it's a very weighty pop as well. I really I like the 8 bits for that. I mean, the top of the hat looks really cool. It's all made up of tiny little 8-bit bottom, um, little 8-bit squares and bits. I love the look of the face. The face looks really good as well. Like I said, he's all scarred up in the orig original Freddy's all scarred up and they've added the, all the scars on as well with like the uh, lighter color oranges. With a darker color orange over the light orange here, this is really cool. I like the 8-bit eyes as well, 8-bit eyebrows, but they've really nailed it all throughout this figure. He's got all that sort of deformation all on his skin, which is really, really nicely done. Even in the layered bit at the bottom there, they've really sort of spared no detail on that there. And obviously as well, they put him in his iconic jumper. You can't have Freddy Cougar without the um, red and green sort of striped jumper, which is really nice as well. I like the way they've done that on the sleeves, and it does look really nice. And obviously his iconic claw. I would have liked the claw material to be a bit darker, if I'm honest, but the claws look really cool as well. I really do like those. Can't have Freddy without this, so they've done a good job. I like the way it's um, facing as well, like facing forward, uh, the claws are up. And he's got his brown trousers and shoes. Let me put that back in the light a bit more. He's got his brown trousers and shoes on. And like I said, and we turn it to the side. He does tilt forward slightly as well. And then there's Freddy from behind. And they normally they get like a really big scuffage on the back. But Freddy doesn't seem to have got that really on the back of him there. But overall, I really do like this pop. So like I said, guys, go out and get this pop. If, you, if you're a fan of horror and you're a fan of 8-bits, then this is a pop for you. It's really, really cool. Um, stay tuned to my channel because a review of Jason is to come. And... Um, yeah, hope you like this video, guys. Hit that thumbs up uh, button if you did. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I do really appreciate everyone that does subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are subscribed to show me your support. And um, drop me a comment below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links in the description below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Tweet me and message me. And we'll talk about Funko Pops. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.